we affectionately call them senior moments. You never know when you might have one, but they may have less to do with aging and more to do with eating. Health reporter Alicia Booth is here now, and you have some new research. I do, and here's what we're talking about. How many times have you walked into a room and forgotten why you're there? Or you ran into someone at the grocery store you've known for 20 years and you just can't remember their name? What's causing this could be more than getting old. It could be you're eating too much sugar. If you're thinking this study doesn't apply to me, consider this about your ability to react and process things quickly. We probably peak somewhere around age 30. Metro Health Medical Center geriatrician James Campbell devotes his career to helping people age and says new research from Columbia University Medical Center is quite logical. The coffee you drink may make you more alert, but all that sugar you put in it could be affecting your brain. Our body's ability to regulate our blood sugar levels worsens with age, and the study links consistently elevated sugar levels to brain aging. But how do you know what you're forgetting isn't the start of Alzheimer's? It's a question many of Dr. Campbell's patients struggle with. The best way to understand it is if it's interfering with your level of ability to function. That's what really is the differentiating factor. Dr. Campbell recommends ramping up your physical and mental exercise. Whether cutting down on sweets and carbs to lower those elevated sugar levels makes a difference, stay tuned. I think we have to wait to see whether there's other studies that, you know, confirm whether or not there's true damage at those levels. But it's an interesting study that needs to be followed up on. Dr. Campbell says you should know your blood pressure as well and involve your family if you think you're being forgetful. He says many of his patients' families will notice problematic changes first, but very often they say, uh, you've always been like that. <laughs> right. Oh, no. Yeah, I think we've all had those. Yes. What did I come down here for? I've done moments. that so many times. It's unbelievable. You know, I have to confess that while I was working on this story, I think I had three of them. See? <laughs> I think some of it also also comes with having a lot on it's your mind at overload once. Overload of yeah. information. Right. It's kind of like when you get the wheel of death on your computer. Right. So if so you need that. some excuses, just call anyone. We of have us. plenty of them. We use them every day. <laughs> Thanks, Alicia. Thanks, Alicia. <laughs>